Hey y'all, today we're gonna be taping an apple cinnamon roll casserole, all while having a whole lot of fun. But look, at that little portion right, right there. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy from RecipesThatCrock.com. And today, Chris is outside in a, in a meeting and she said, hey, why don't you tape something for the crock posse? And I figured if she's going to be outside all day, ain't nobody going to know but me and you. Shh. We're going to do something a little bit more high carb today, y'all. So today we're going to be making an apple cinnamon roll casserole. One of Chris's best posts, one of the most popular ones that she ever did when she first started RecipesTheCrock.com, or as we call it around here, RTC, was a cinnamon roll casserole. It's really, really simple to do and people love it, including this people right here who loves to eat anything cinnamon roll. And this is an adaptation from that. It's kind of like along the lines of your French toast cinnamon roll casserole, your cherry cobbler cinnamon roll casserole. But let's face it, it's getting a little closer to fall. Now we're in South Dakota right now where I think today it's going to be like maybe get up into the 70s, but it's been in the 60s and at night it's really cold and it makes you think of fall. And so I figure if she's going to be out, I'm going to be thinking about fall. And when I think about fall, I think about apples. And so we're going to make a really super simple recipe for you today that y'all ought to try and enjoy. I don't care if it's in the fall, the winter, the summer, whenever you want to eat something like this, this is what you need to go to. And all you're going to need are the following ingredients. You need, well, apple pie filling, one twenty-one ounce can of apple pie filling. And then also you want two tubes of cinnamon rolls. Now that could be Pillsbury or whatever other brand you use. Honestly, I don't even remember what brand that she got us. But all I've got right here is two tubes that I've already cut up. And all you want to do is take your cinnamon roll and just quarter it. Cut it in half, turn around, cut it in half again. So all y'all who don't know how to do fractions, half and a half is a quarter. So they're just in pieces like this. Now, the first thing you also want to do is you want to spray your casserole crock or your traditional crock, whatever you're going to use, with cooking spray. Since we're not using a nonstick, I need to do something about that. But I cannot find the cooking spray. So instead of going out there and giving myself away to my beautiful wife, I don't want her to know what I'm cooking. So sometimes you got to improvise, and that's what I'm going to do now. And all I'm going to do is take a stick of butter and I'm going to wipe down the inside of my crock because I don't want this stuff to stick. And with all that sugar from all them carbs, it'll stick. So all I want to do is take this stick of butter and wipe down the inside, greasing my casserole crock, not just on the bottom, but also on the sides, just like that. And that'll keep, one, that's going to keep the rolls and that pie filling from sticking to the sides of your crock. And then two, it's butter. And I think everything tastes better with butter. All right, there we go. It's greased up real well. Let's set this over here. Clean off my hands real quick. And then the rest of it's simple. All I want to do is take and make a layer on the bottom of my casserole crock with my cinnamon rolls. Kind of spread them out through there as you see me doing. Now, if you're using a traditional crock that's more deep than it is wide, then you can do this in layers. Just do a layer of your cinnamon rolls on the bottom, and then a layer spooning out your pie filling, and then do another layer, kind of like a hot trifle, if you will. But since we're using the casserole crock, I'm pretty sure the two tubes of rolls is just gonna cover the bottom of my crock here and then I'll put the apple pie filling on top just like that just make sure everything's covered on the bottom try not to see any of the bottom of your casserole crock when you're done and I tell you right now you're probably seeing in the tape and I'm gonna see it later when I edit it out and I'm not that good with editing yet so you're still gonna see them we have flies it's cooler weather so the flies are all coming in there's nothing I can do about it except maybe turn on the fan and then you would be able to hear my pretty voice so Sorry about that. I'm swatting them away as we go. But just like that, you've got your cinnamon rolls in the bottom. And as they heat up, just like you see in an oven, they're going to poof up real big. So there's that. And then I'm just going to take my apple pie filling and go evenly over the top of my cinnamon rolls. What I imagine is those cook, they're going to poof up. 
I guess we'll see how it did at the end of this. But all I want to do is take my apple pie filling and make sure I go all over my cinnamon rolls. My mouth is watering right now. I am so looking forward to this recipe. Oh yeah. Make sure you get all that goodness out of there. I bet you could do this with peach pie. Any pie filling would do. I would love to do a peach pie sometime. I think cinnamon and peaches go really well together. But all I want to do is slather that apple pie filling to go all over the top of my cinnamon rolls that I cut up. And just like that, we're ready to cook it. So all I'm going to do now is put my lid on it. And you want to set this on low for about three hours. What you're looking for is that those rolls have poofed up and they've set up. They're probably going to get a little brown around the edges where the heat is touching the crock. Your apples are already done, so you're not too worried, you're not too worried about the apples, but you want to make sure that those cinnamon rolls have set up pretty good so it's not... It might be a little gooey in the center, but you don't want them not done, you know what I mean? So I'll see you here in about three hours, or in your case, that'll be three, two, one. And we are back, and as you can see, I have been joined by our lovely Miss Ed, because any time that we make dessert things, Miss Ed wants to be a part of it. <laughs> Let's face it, it's okay. so do I. So, what we got here, and something I failed to mention before, luckily after I got done taping the first part of this segment, Miss Ed said, hey, Dad, what about the icing? Now, when you get those rolls, uh, the cinnamon rolls, they come with a little thing of icing. It's a little bit something like that. Leave them out. Leave them aside. Don't put them in the fridge. Put them to the side so that while this is done cooking, the icing has softened up because the next best step is, once you see that everything is done that's probably steaming up my GoPro look at that you can see how all that sugar starting to caramelize there on top next thing you want to do I'll give you one of these if you want to start on this side we just want to do a drizzle you don't want to waste that icing but you want it to drizzle we might have to microwave it it's still a little no it's starting to come out but that's going to give it an even more sweeter flavor yeah yours is looking prettier mine but you just want to put that icing on top. If you can resist eating that icing while it's sitting there on the counter looking at you. That was my problem earlier. But I held off because I knew the reward was going to be sweet in the end. Just like that. Let me take this. I'll scoop that out. Now, it smells heavenly in here. Don't mind the other slow cooker. That's for another recipe that Mom and I are cooking. It's low carb. But I figure... <laughs> This is one that Miss Ad and I can enjoy, and I know y'all will too. But just like that. And the best part is, nothing else to do but eat it. So why don't we grab, I'll grab the spatula here. If you want to hold this, I know what you want to do with it. Look, <laughs> look at that. That can be your fork, that's fine. And like I said, I couldn't find the spray earlier, but I used butter, and it's a good thing because even with the butter, it'll start to stick to the sides. But look that little portion right, right there. That's okay. Oh, that's okay. I'll take them back. It's got a little bit of that icing on there. Of course, it's got all that other goodness. We'll just set that to the side for now. And then, I don't know what you're doing. I gotta come up here and show the crock posse. Oh. You wanna come up here with me? <laughs> well, you can see on the bottoms where it's really browned up and crisped up there. And of course you got your apples, so why don't you grab an apple and a little bit of that cinnamon roll casserole on the bottom. It's going to be really hot, so be careful. <laughs> that tastes like fall, y'all. That is, it's cinnamon and apples and just well you know how good the cinnamon rolls are but when you add that apple on top of it that apple pie filling of course it's got that sugar that's going to soak down in there and make it even better but apples by themselves are just really good you add the cinnamon and then these buttery kind of mushy rolls mm. and it's the perfect consistency because if you look on the outside again you got that brown right there 
and it's caramelized and everything but then right there on top you get that mushy which is like the center of one of those cinnamon rolls like you get out of the oven like the way they they're normally made but who likes to be normal when you can be awesome right just like these cinnamon rolls just like you thank you for being with me today on this i know it was hard to get you up on camera to eat these cinnamon rolls <laughs> mm. but if you like what you do or, but if you like what we're doing around here Make sure and click that subscribe button down below if you have not become a member of our Croc Posse. And also, if you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, you click that little bell next to it. What's that called? The ding -a -ling. Click the ding -a -ling and you'll get a, a new video as soon as we put them up. And y'all, the most important of all this, the most important, the most important part of all this, and the fact that I am tongue-tied with all this sweet goodness here, is make sure that you laugh often. Eat your food. And speak life. Bye, y'all. Bye. Hey, better give ad sound. <laughs> Go ahead. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the Patreon.